Hi, in this video, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on three ways to assess your sense word from God. This teaching is going to be a very powerful one. Let your heart be opened and be ready to receive. God bless you. If you think poverty is the will of God, you are fighting the will of God. The awareness of the will of God is what gives you the confidence to know what to fight and to know what to allow. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, the entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. You cannot fight until you are aware that that current situation is not the will of God. If it is the will of God, then that means you are fighting God. If you think sickness is the will of God, you are fighting the will of God trying to get healed. If you think poverty is the will of God, you are fighting the will of God. The awareness of the will of God is what gives you the confidence to know what to fight and to know what to allow. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 3. My goodness, let's hurry up. Matthew chapter 8. Watch this. When he was come down from the mountain, the Bible says, a great multitude followed him. Verse 2. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou will. Give us amplified, in fact. Amplified. Thank you. Behold, a leper came to him, prostrating himself. He worshipped him and said, Lord, if you are willing. I don't know whether this is your will. You are able to cleanse me from by curing me. Verse 3. Read it as loud as you can. My God, I sense the power of God already. And he reached out and touched him saying, I am willing. One more time. I am willing. One more time. As a result, be cleansed. I am willing. Prosper. I am willing. Rise. I am willing. Be great. You need to know what the will of God is. This is one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit. Man of God, it is the will of God for you to excel in ministry. It's not the will of God for you to be small. Souls cannot be saved when you are small. Don't mind ignorant people. It is God's will for you to rise, to contend for strategic kingdom influence for the sake of his majesty. It is the will of God for you to be anointed in ever increasing dimensions so you can do more for Jesus. It is the will of God for you to prosper so you can give in conferences like this without it affecting you and without you frowning. The will of God. That means everything that is not the will of God tonight, let that become your prayer request. Let that become your, your point of annoyance. You are a man of God and you came here and it looks like you love God sincerely, but ministry is not working. Don't sit down wondering, is it the will of God to lift me? Now you know what to pray for when it's time to pray. Lord, the anointing that brings consolation to men in ministry, that that grace will locate me indeed. <laughs> Luke 8 18. He now says, Be careful how you hear. This is the second dimension to the hearing of faith. The first talks about the correctness of the information, but the second talks about your attitude while you receive. Don't just be careful about what you hear, you must be careful how you hear it. For to him who has spiritual knowledge, more will be given. And to him who does not have spiritual knowledge, even that which he thinks and guesses and supposes that he has, will be taken away from him. Hallelujah. So the first talks about the correctness of the spiritual information upon which your faith is built. But the second talks about your attitude, teachability, the swiftness to obey 
trembling at the word of God, not bringing all kinds of um, arguments around the word of God, and rendering it of non effect through your traditions. Hebrews chapter 4, I'm reminded from verse 1 and 2. The Bible says, Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. The promise is for us, but we can miss it out. That any of you should come short of it. Verse 2, it says, For unto us was the gospel preached. Ladies and gentlemen, hear this. As well as unto them. So there are two groups of people, us and them but the word preached did not profit them why not be mixed with faith in them that heard it so their problem was not hearing they had the truth but they did not mind the attitude they doubted oh is it true that God can do this I know this is true but can God turn my life around can I really be a, a Deborah can God pick me from this lowly estate with all my limitations there are two cautions in scripture. Number one, what you hear. Number two, how you hear. James chapter 1, 22 and 25. Be ye doers of the word. Be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. It starts with hearing. But performance is not just about hearing. It says, if you hear only, you are deceiving your own self. Next verse, please. It says, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, he not being a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work. He said, this man shall be blessed in how many? All his deeds. All his deeds. Say, I'm a doer. Lay your hands on your head and prophesy. Say, I'm a doer. I'm a doer. The grace to do is released upon me. In the name of Jesus. I wrote something here and I want you to listen. Only those who obediently act on the word get results from it. Only those who obediently act on the word get results from it. Only those who obediently act on the word get results from it. He that ministered to you the spirit and worketh miracles among you. Did he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? That means if you want to work miracles, the first raw material is to bring the correct information by the spirit. Serve it to God's people with excellence. Then the next thing, cultivate an attitude of faith within them. You see, this is what the Bible calls the sent word. Psalm 107 and verse 20. He sent forth his word and healed them. Not he spake his word, the sent word, and delivered them from their destructions. Hear me, Koinonia? The word that is about to come that will produce the supernatural miracle right now is a sent word. And there are three ways to access the sent word. Can I give you that before we pray? Number one, light from scripture. The first way believers access the sent word is light from scripture. Light from scripture. Right for reference, Luke chapter 4 from verse 17 to 21. Jesus was in the temple and it was delivered to him the book and he found there where it was written and verse 21 says when he looked at them their faces were fastened on him and he said this day is this scripture that was written fulfilled in your ears light from scripture hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do to do thy will it is written already light from scripture you can find from scripture what god has said and that becomes a sent word number two sent words come as prophetic instructions directly from god or through his anointed vessels this is the second way we access the sent word number one light from scripture number two 
instructions directly from God by his spirit or from his anointed vessels. John chapter 5, 6 to 9. We see the power of the sent word as instructions. When Jesus saw him lie, him being the man who had been at Bethesda for 38 years and knew that he had now been a long time, he said to him, will thou be made whole? Next verse, please. The impotent man said, sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Verse 8, Jesus said to him, if you believe, rise up, take your bed. Correct information. He heard well. Now, what was going to be his response to the sent word? The Bible says immediately. At the instance of the word, the man was made whole. Whether he knew he was made whole or not was a different thing. But the Bible says he was made whole. And he proved that he believed he was whole by taking up his bed and he walked. And that same day was the Sabbath. So a word can come in the name of Jesus Christ. If you've not walked, stand up and walk. You can sit down there and perhaps not get a miracle. But somebody will take a step of faith check your body do when prophetic instructions come they are not just some gimmicks and mechanics from men of god it is by the spirit it is a sent word sometimes it can be to shout sometimes it can be to lay your hands can be to keep quiet under an atmosphere of the spirit you must believe and respect the sent word that comes as prophetic instructions number three how does the sent word come by prophetic declarations these ones are not instructions they are speakings Ezekiel 37 7 I prophesied as I was commanded he did not instruct the bones he prophesied and there was a noise and behold a shaking and bones came together bone to his bone I prophesied as I was commanded Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 2 and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that I heard him that spake unto me let me recap again that when it has to do with the administration of the sent word there are three biblical ways the sent word that brings healing that brings deliverance that brings lifting comes to believers number one light from scripture number two prophetic instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come he never said peter come he said come whoever acted on that instruction would have been the beneficiary of that word and then number three prophetic declarations i always wondered why our fathers of faith would spend almost half of their preaching time speaking and making declarations that literally sometimes these fathers can go for ministrations and not even preach so much they just tell you that they came to speak and prophesy and sometimes naive and ignorant people say what is all this one now and then they keep praying may god bless you may god open doors and people are shouting amen and usually you will see someone very proud and careless with no results wondering okay will this work and you will see somebody with their hearts opened an attitude that compels the spirit of glory to rest on them days hours weeks years later people return with strange testimonies all these three you are going to receive you have already received light from scripture the next is going to be the prophetic instruction backed up with prophetic declarations there is no reason why the sent word should not work in your life we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.